Behold Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. He who was ancient when this world was young. Bow before him, mortals. Bow before your ending. Too soon. You have awakened me too soon, Executors. What is the meaning of this intrusion? These mortal infidels, my lord. They have invaded your sanctum and seek to steal your secrets. Fool. You allowed this incense to run rampant through the hallowed core. Now you lead them to my very lair? You have failed me, Executus. Justice shall be met indeed. Now for you, insects. Boldly you sought the power of Ragnaros. Now you shall see it firsthand. Hey everybody, this is Farley. Um, kind of like that uh, intro, so I thought I'd uh, throw it in there. Anyway, we're on the final boss in Molten Core. Uh, it's Ragnaros, and uh, he's a pretty cool looking boss. Um, as you can see, he's a stationary. And uh, that being said, uh, you can just nuke your little heart out. Um, he has an aggro table, but as long as he has something in melee to attack, uh, you can be as high a threat as you want, and he won't attack you. The only time he'll attack you is um, he'll knock back your pet, and whenever he doesn't have something in melee range to attack, he does like a, a flame shock um, to anyone at range. And um, that hits for about 5,600. Um, when he does that, when he knocks back your pet, you need to feign death or uh, deterrence through that damage. Because if you take each and every one of those, um, you're going to go into the sun's phase with very little HP, if any. And um, just any damage taken by those suns is probably going to finish you off. So... Um, Definitely make sure that whenever your pet gets knocked back, you feign death or deterrence as soon as possible. Um, the other type of damage you can take uh, in this fight is uh, uh, mostly resistible. He does. Um, um, he throws some fire at you. He, uh, he 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 attempts to knock you around as well too. You'll resist uh, most of it, but he still will um, occasionally knock you back. And you want to make sure that your, your back is to a wall. If not, you could get tossed into the lava and have a trouble getting up. And in that time, your pet would die. And it's just nasty. Just like, it, yeah, right there, I got knocked back. And you can't see the wall, but it's right behind me. Um, I am marksman for this fight. I, I chose my PvE uh, spec with the two-piece tier 5. Um, it's not too difficult to keep your pet alive with that um, spec. Um, and... Uh, I'd, I'd recommend it. Yeah. Currently, as BM, I can't do nearly as much DPS as I can as a marksman, and uh, so I just wanted to kind of burn him as fast as possible. He has um, 1 million HP, thereabouts, uh, and uh, three minutes into the fight, he's going to submerge and summon the, uh, the Sons of Ragnaros. Um, if you have enough DPS, uh, maybe you might be able to do a million damage before he submerges, but um, for the most part, most everyone's going to have to still deal with the uh, suns if you're trying to kill him solo wise. Um, which they'll summon here in a second. Um, yeah, oh, here they are. So, yeah, right when the suns spawn, I feign death. Uh, just so that um, the ads will head uh, to my pet. They didn't all go there here, but um, I kind of got them grouped up before my pet got off at thunder uh, Thunderstomp and then just misdirected a volley and uh, that seems to work pretty well. Now they do hit, hit kinda hard so definitely want to make sure that you got a men pet going as well as the uh, volley with the tier 5 and to keep your pet alive. Now normally when you kill all the, the sons uh, he pops right back up but he didn't this time and the only reason I can think of is because right when the suns spawned one of them that was on the left it it disappeared and I think it might have disappeared because I was the only person on its aggro table and it wasn't aggro to my pet at all. 
and I think that might glitch it out somehow. I don't know, but if that happens, you're just basically going to get an extra minute or so to uh, heal up, do whatever you want, get get your mana up uh, before he comes back out. So just take advantage of that fact, if, and uh, you can actually kind of use that strat if you want. We just feign death at the start. But um, uh, as far as the fight goes, um, it's just those two little tricks where you want to make sure that you're avoiding the uh, flame shock and making sure that you're not getting tossed around in the lava and stuff like that. And if you do those two things, um, the fight shouldn't be too difficult. Um, just uh, keep your pet alive, make sure he's always got a men pet on him, and uh, nuke your little heart out. Um, he drops about uh, 150 gold or so, and uh, he does the, two, the tier 2 pants and a couple other epics. But besides that, shouldn't be uh, too difficult of a fight. So. Anyway, this is the last video for the Molt Core um, series, and I hope uh, you guys were able to follow along and uh, clear the instance by yourself and get some gold out of it or just some experience soloing, at least. So. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, happy hunting.